been a little over a year since the Perry House and County Airport opened the new terminal and corporate building. City and county officials hoped the additions would bring more planes and businesses to boost the economy. Megan Western stopped by the airport today to see how things are going. The Perry House and County Airport says their business has been soaring right along with those new airplanes they've welcomed in in the last year. It's the best year we've ever had. Each year we continue to grow and get, uh, get uh, more aircraft in here and more fuel sales in here. In the last year, the airport saw 47 takeoffs and landings a day and increased its gross income by 30%. The money isn't just landing in their pockets. They all pay taxes, so there's, a, there's an increase in the tax revenue. As more private planes and charter flights land at PXE and park in the new terminal, Mark Court says they're headed to spend money in the community. They buy fuel here, they shop here. Um, believe it or not, we get a lot of people flying here, going to um, Bucky's, uh, going to Rigby's. It's impacting folks right at the airport, like Tailwind Aviation Solutions. It's a flight school, it's a maintenance facility, it's an avionics shop, and it's a certified repair station. Brian Ellingham says this kind of operation is rare at small airports due to a lack of space, but it's needed in this field. A lot of aircraft out there are old, so they require a lot of updates and, you know, just routine maintenance. Because of the airport's growth, they can expand too. They plan to take over the old fixed base operation site to service even more plane owners. So being able to do it all in-house under one roof, um, you know, and actually being able to flow the project out uh, makes it for an easier solution for the for the customer. In Perry, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. The airport hopes to build a corporate taxiway so more businesses can build private hangars. They say two corporations have already shown interest.